Hello everyone, welcome to Akash Institute. In this new video series, we are discussing the counselling processes of different states and UTs of India for NEET 2024. Today, we are going to discuss the counselling process of Delhi, in which we will look at the seat matrix, the cutoff analysis and the entire counselling process. You can visit these two websites for more information on the same. Let us first look at the MBBS and BDS seat matrix of Delhi. As you can see, there are 10 MBBS colleges and 3 BDS colleges. Then there are 1497 MBBS seats and 162 BDS seats. You can take a look at the map and have a better understanding how these colleges are distributed throughout this UT. Here you have the list of government MBBS colleges. Please remember, the AIMS Delhi offers admission only through All India Quota. The Delhi 85% quota is available in the other colleges. In addition to that, please note the names, locations and the number of seats in them. Here you have the list of private MBBS colleges and here you have the list of BDS colleges. Now, if we talk about the different quota categories of Delhi, the 85% UT quota or Delhi quota is available in both Delhi University and Indraprastha University. But under Indraprastha University, the ACMS college offers all its seats under institutional quota. So, the UT quota is not available in this particular college. Now, if we look at the 2023 overall MBBS cutoff of DU and IPU. We will see that it was for general, it was for OBC, it was for EWS, SC and ST. Now we will look at the 2023 MBBS cutoff of deemed universities. This was for general and in other categories it was not applicable. Now we will talk about the eligibility criteria. For the seats reserved for the localites of Delhi, candidates should have studied and passed 11th and 12th classes in the government recognized schools of Delhi. But remember, this is an open UT. That means, students from other states and UTs can take admission in the colleges of Delhi. Now, what about the different steps of the counselling process? It starts with registration. So, you do it in these two websites. Next step choice filling and locking, then counselling result, seat allotment and then you report at the allotted college. Now we will talk about the list of documents required for the counselling, qualifying examination mark sheet and certificates 10th and 12th, need to g mark sheet, resident certificate if applicable, category certificate EWS, OBC, SC, ST if applicable, PWD certificate if applicable, passport size photographs and government ID proof. Now you may ask is there any scholarship in Delhi? Yes, there is scholarship under post matrix scholarship scheme for OBC and SC or ST category students. For OBC, family annual income should be less than 1 lakh rupees. For SC or ST, the annual income of the family should be less than 2 lakh rupees. You can visit this website for more information on the same. Now what about service bond in Delhi? There is no service bond in Delhi. We have come to the end of this video. Hope you understood the counselling process of Delhi. Thank you for watching.